a package from Grand Grand. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Tip, uh, no. I presume? What? Dr. Livingston, I presume? Jeez, I'm not deaf. Dr. Livingston, I presume? Wait, who? Are you David Livingston or not? <laughs> Do I look like a David? Yes. I'm a girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, why are you looking for this David guy? Well, he's a Scottish missionary that was hired on an expedition to explore the interior of Africa and find the source of the Nile River. But people lost contact with him, so George Bennett hired me to find him, or whatever's left of him. Oh, okay. Do you know the way? The what? The way! How do I know the way? I just got here! So I'll just have to use my iPhone. You have an iPhone? What? Jealous? Uh, no. Let's see here. Maps. Africa. Okay. No touching. <sighs> oh, I found it. We're supposed to go... Oh, looks like I've got a text message. Let's read it, shall we? Dear Henry Stanley, that's me. Since it is the year 1879, I want you to go explore the Congo River Basin and arrange trade treaties with African leaders. Signed, King Leopold II. Well, looks like I better go. Wait, don't you have to find that, um, that Livingston guy? Oh, no. Me and my expedition of 2,000 men found him in a small village called Ujiji on November 10, 1871. Well, let's blow this joint, shall we? Oh, look, an African leader. Why, hello, Mr. African leader, sir. Can I interest you in signing this trade treaty that will be one of the many signed to give King Leopold II power? I don't think I should. I see. I'm sorry, I haven't formally introduced myself. My name is Mr. Henry Stanley. Ow! You kind of... you some kind of god or something? Well, yes. Yes, I am. Would you like to sign it now? I think that's a bad idea. Well, okay. How about I interest you in something we gods call... Alcohol. I just got out of rehab for alcoholism, so I don't think I'll pass. Well, okay. Here's an idea. How about you sign, or I'll shoot you in the face? Got a pen? Why, yes. Yes, I do have a pen. Right there would be perfect. Really good. I'm glad you decided to sign, see, because I know that King Leopold II has great intentions for once he controls Congo. Like what? Well, you see, he promises to free trade. Well, you see, he promises free trade to abolish slavery and to build infrastructure. Wait, but isn't King, King Leopold II just responsible for some of the major evil acts committed during the age of imperialism? Like, like excessive taxation, abuse, and exploitation? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. In 1908, World Outery will cause the Belgian government to take away Leopold's power. <laughs> Quiet, you. 